Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be redoing one of my old videos actually um, about opportunity teams and um, adding a little more information. Um, I have significantly upgraded my filming setup since then and so it's a lot easier to listen to and watch for you. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into setup and I will show you how to enable it. It is super duper easy. We go to setup and search for opportunity and go to opportunity team settings. All right, enable team selling and save. All right, I'm going to add it to, or add the list to all of these and hit save. All right, so now we have team selling. If we were to go back to the opportunity um, let's go ahead and go to all opportunities here and just click on the first one. We should. All right, so it took a little bit to refresh, but now we see over here on the related list that we can add opportunity team members. Now let's talk a little bit about opportunity teams. So opportunity teams allow you to add more than one person onto the opportunity. Of course, you have the opportunity owner, um, and maybe you have an account owner, um, but opportunity teams allow us to add more people to an opportunity team. So let's take an example of a consulting firm. You might have an SDR, someone who brings in the deals, and then you have an account executive, someone who's coming in to close the deal, but you may also need um, a product expert or a system expert to help um, create the SOW and to get this going, or the statement of work, I should say. So that is why you'd want to add an opportunity team. So then all those people had access to the record within Salesforce. I'm gonna go in and add Looks like I can't add a default team, but I can add a team member. There aren't any default teams yet set up, which would be great for another video. I'm going to add an account manager and have this be Jane Doe, and we can establish what her access is. I'm gonna establish it as read write, hit save, and now Jane Doe has access to this opportunity to come in and collaborate with myself, who's the opportunity owner, and um, get this deal closed. Of course, you might have default teams set up on the back end, so then you can, let's say you had a set SDR team um, or a set SDR person and you had an account executive and you had the product expert and maybe that you had an executive who was there for executive sign off. Then you could add a default team if your company has those set up where you have Jeremy, Josh, and Jacob as these different people, just as an example. So that is how you set up opportunity teams. Um, I know that there are some ways that you might be able to report off of this um, and do splits if you do revenue sharing as well. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them down below. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Possible, um, Like, subscribe, um, check out the courses down below and you can join the email list at salesforceemily.com. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.